don't win. You, you win the, the free base battle last night. Don't get the win. Refreshing to see that y'all dominated it and dominated the game as well. Yeah, I was just excited that, you know, last night was a tough one to swallow, you know, and as we've had some bad losses. We've, you know, it's been an up and down year, but last night was, that was a really tough one because I felt like we played really well. The guys were into it every single pitch and, and you get down to the exact, the, the right guys you want up with the wind blowing out at home in front of a great crowd. And, and, and I told them the sooner, the sooner they flush it, the better chance we have. So, um, you know, Troy made a big pitch in the, Second inning, and then you know kept them down a little bit, um, and then obviously you know they gave us some free bases, and we got the big hits. Hunter's, Hunter's double. You know JT had a great day. It's good. It felt like a thousand pounds came off everybody's shoulders when Bose finally saw one go out of the ballpark. So maybe maybe that will spark him. Yeah, I know. I was going to ask Bose. To get, we've said it all season. Hit it hard, just not to the right spot. Yeah. How how rewarding was it for you to see that? One yeah, just great. I called him in my office this morning and. I said, I'm going to make you take batting practice today with a weighted vest on. And he said, you know, why would I do that? And I, I said, because you're playing with the entire weight of the season on your back. Like, you can't be carrying the weight of even yesterday, much less February. And, and it's not selfish in his it's, – it's, he's tr he feels like he lets the team down. And he hadn't let anybody down. This program's great because of people like him. So, it, you know, I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Like, as a coach, you like to think so. But just – just need to see him play with freedom. And I said, you know, and whether it be four weeks or a month and a half, this thing's going to be over for you, man. And I don't care what professional baseball holds for you. You're going to miss this. So you better, you know, just enjoy every single second of it. So uh, I was really happy for him. Good outing for the whole staff today, too, pitching-wise. Yeah, I thought, well, Cortez did, a, you know, Cortez did a good enough job. He keeps the ball down, made one bad pitch to the big guy. Um, and then, you know, I thought we played really good defense. Obviously, that double play turn at the end was pretty awesome, and and uh, so we've you know we've caught the ball pretty well. And of course, we had some balls stay in the ballpark that they hit too. You know, a lot of balls hit to the warning track, but that's you know they're an explosive team, and tomorrow's a new day. How important is that pitching performance? You used only three guys yesterday. Yeah. Three guys today. How you set up yeah, I mean we have you know we kept extra pitchers on this roster uh, for the weekend just to. Because you know we're obviously not in a great position from a starting pitcher standpoint, it'd just be kind of a matchup thing throughout the course of the game, throughout the course of the day. Um, so yeah, it's good we score runs and Chris didn't throw too many pitches, and we didn't have to use Ashenbeck or Garcia, so those guys could be available again tomorrow. Um, but it's going to be a dogfight. They got a big lefty going. It's gonna probably be a first rounder next year, so it'll be another tough day in the SEC. You mentioned it being a weight off of Austin's shoulders, but as an entire team. What does a complete offensive performance like that do for a side? I, well, I just think when's the last time we played, we won a game and it was in hand. I mean, I can't even remember. First game, first game at Kentucky, but even that was may have been like six to three, seven, seven to three. But in terms of, you know, like my favorite baseball score is eight to two. Like you, you score and you get up and you just coast, you just play really good baseball and throw strikes. And you know, the the ten run rule games, those don't come around very much in this league. But but yeah, that one right there. Uh, it, yeah, felt good. Uh, I think you were talking about Austin Bose, but Moss, I think it was his first RBI since Prairie View. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I mean, a little bit of weight off his shoulders. I mean, that's yeah. not that long. But yeah, he's, yeah, but he's been, he's been pressing a little bit, you know, in his body language. He's, you know, they all, that's been the challenge of the season. It's not about a caring thing, or it's not about a hard work thing, and, or a good, or hey, I'm coaching bad kids. Like, these kids are awesome, and they, they feel it. Matter of fact, they probably feel it too much. You know, and no one has to tell them what that's at, at stake. No one has to tell them RPIs or conference tournaments or regional stuff like that. They all know. They, they all know that we got to win. We got to win ball games, and if we win, we'll take all that stuff. Will take care of itself. To, to that end, tomorrow, um, don't don't mean to overstate the obvious, but it's important important rubber match. They're, yeah, they all are. I mean, just winning games and trying to trying to get closer to 500 is, in this league is is really hard to do. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a dog fight. Last night was a dog fight. I'm sure they'll come out swinging tomorrow. Thompson's another guy who kind of started slow and has been coming on. How have you kind of seen him progress? Yeah, JT's like he's the guy that ever since he's been here, there's, you know, there are players that have more physical tools that Coach Childress or myself. I mean, it's natural to want to go with those other players, and and uh, he just kind of press, keeps doing what he does, keeps doing what he does, and and I can tell you, Mike Early's been fighting for him the whole year. Um, because he's pretty much proven since he's been here that if you just let him play and get his at-bats, then, um, then he produces. And so we jumped him up in the lineup a little bit today, 
try to give Boast a little bit, you know, give him a chance to see more see more pitches ahead of him at bat. Um, and it worked. Houston, to have three hits against a team as good as Florida, how yeah. promising is that for him? So really promising, really promising. And, and uh, uh, you know, we, we think a lot of him. He's, and and he, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't swing at bad pitches. You know, he draws his walks. Florida's really good at holding runners, so we don't really get to – but he can steal bases. Um, he's a good outfielder. Um, so, you know, I've been saying since day one, you know, well, in the spring, because in the fall he didn't do much, but in the, in the spring he really set the world on fire against, against at least against our pitchers. So um, we think a lot of him and Jace, Caden Kent, Max, all those guys, position player wise, we think are going to be good ones down the road. Different kind of left handed hitter, but given who Wells is stepping in for, how nice is it? Yeah, to yeah. Like yeah, and I know Brett was really upset after the game last night because just, you know, obviously having Brett in there. Make it's a big impact. It's an impact bat. So, um, but yeah, it's good that that, that position can give us something uh, offensively. And I think Coffer does a great job of getting on base as well. He, and he hit some balls hard today. All right.